Hello again and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. This is the last of the four figures I'm reviewing from the Legacy Collection. Um, next up is the Ewoks. This is Ligtar. And there's Nippet. Now Ligtar, what can I say? Um, his cowl is removable. The sculpt on the cowl is absolutely superb. He has a stone knife which comes out of his sheath. It's very well done. Very sculpted, well sculpted fits in there nice and tight we'll slot that in there he has a stone hammer or axe um, he articulation wise um, he has a ball jointed head he has ball jointed shoulders swivel wrists swivel waist swivel hips and ball jointed ankles now the scope sculpts on these Ewoks is getting really rather good so this would make a worthy collection to anybody who has an Ewok display. I'd like to see a video of someone doing an actual Ewok diorama, you know, with ferns and bushes and stuff. It looked fantastic. That's Leektar. Next up we have Nippet. Now surprisingly I've been more impressed with Nippet than anything else. Which is a bit mad considering he's just two pieces of plastic. There's no articulation. But what's impressed me with Nippet more than anything else is the sculpt. This really does capture the Ewok that you see at, I think it's at the celebration scene in, um, no, it's the storytelling scene, I tell a lie, in, um, the, in the Return of the Jedi, when 3PO is relating the story of the Galactic Civil War. And this is just a basket, but the sculpting on the basket is really well done as well. And you sit, nip it in there, and it's the, the detail is what gets me it really is rather well sculpted and looks rather good and will make a worthy addition along with Leaktar to any Ewok display so I can if you like Ewoks I can heartily recommend these two figures I'm not a massive fan of Ewoks but um, I needed the figure for a certain purpose but th these are these are really rather good so I'm quite impressed with those that's Leaktar and Nippet now as I said the um, four figures I got were specifically to find the parts for a particular astromech. As most of you on YouTube know, I am a little bit obsessed with astromechs. Just a small amount. Um, and I got these parts because it leapt me to getting this guy. Now this is R4D6. He's one of the conical R4 astromechs. He comes with a centre leg as well, a la... Saga R2 which is pull out you can just pop it in like so it's nice and tight that's it and then you just position his legs thus and you have him in his three wheeled mode there we go now when these originally came out he's wheeled as well on the bottom when these originally came out I totally turned my nose up at the idea of these droids because I sort of looked at them and thought yeah, look a bit pants to me but I must admit since I've got them they have really grown on me um, the droids come as uh, two legs separately and you get the torso separate and then when you get the head you get the center leg with it now the heads turn swivel nice and freely but you can pull them off and inside is quite a lot of detail as far as the intellect's computer brain so and this one actually has been painted with dots and some of the wiring has been painted. Some are, some aren't. But the sculpt on this is rather excellent. Um, they're a little bit shorter in stature, only a tiny bit than the standard R4s because of the fact is that the original R4s had pull-out legs so the bodies had to be a little bit deeper. And like I said, they, you get, um, I think in Wave 1 you can have R4D6 or R7Z0. Well, this is R4-D6. Now, I wanted the other R4. In Wave 2, you get R4-J1. Um, but to be honest with you, I couldn't really afford to keep going out and buying figures, so I cheated. I bought this one on eBay for the princely sum of about a tenner. And that is R4-J1. He's from Wave 2. Comes with his centre leg as well. Same as R4-D6. He's wheeled. He's hinged at the shoulder and at the ankle. 
his head turns, but for some reason you take the head off of this one and it's not painted apart from silver grey on Tina Tillek's brain, so you could, if you wanted to, put some detail on there. And it just clips in. Very nice colour scheme. Very well, well done. I do like these droids. I think they're very well done. And they really have grown on me. And I think the second half of Wave 2 comes with R7T1, I believe. Which is two I need to get. But there you go. They are the two R4 Builder Droid droids. From the Legacy Collection. Um, you can always get them as you gradually build up your collection of part figures and you get the parts. Or like me, if you can't afford to keep going out and buying tons of figures because you want the Astromex, you can get them off eBay. Um, apart from that, I'm, like I said, I'm very impressed with them. And if anybody feels the need to offload their droid parts, um, just send them to me. I'll be quite happy to take them off your hands. Anyway, take care. Till next time. See you then.